Still in Lagos, residents of Gloryland Community and Federal Site and Services Scheme in Sharia Lafia Baidimu local government area of uh, Lagos states are seeking the intervention of the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashala, Office of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, and the Lagos State Government for the completion of the road project in the community. They want to know why the road project in the community has been abandoned. Sarah Ayeku reports. In about two decades from now, Nigeria will become the third most populous country, sitting behind China and India. The burden of a fast-growing population comes with the problem of decent housing for those in urban settlements. To provide affordable homes to Nigerians, the federal government came up with an initiative known as the Federal Site and Services Scheme. But when major infrastructure, like a road, is unavailable, it pushes residents in such communities to the streets in search of any kind of response from the government. Along the last week of the road in Egbe Demu, local council development area of Lagos, is a project board detailing the rehabilitation of collapsed community roads in federal site and services scheme, Isheri Olofi. The board states to supervise the ministry and contractor, but no duration or scope of projects to be embarked on. Rehabilitating the about 1.5 kilometer road which connects more than seven communities in the area is a long lost wish. Residents tell us the contractor has been on the project since 2017, but not much work has been done. I was so happy when I got the information that uh, they have started work on Petrocam Road, but all of a sudden the uh, engineer at the site just packed up. When they packed up, we don't really know what happened and the road is in a very bad shape. We can, you can even see that in front of people's houses, they have to go and put a local parko there so that they can get entrance to their house. When they mobilized to site, we discovered that they tried to do the drainages on both sides of the road, as you can see. But even at that, it's not a completed job here because on this side of the road, from the beginning of Isheri, Igonde by highway, nothing has been done as you can see. But immediately after where the car is parked, if you can see that yellow bus behind me, you discover that they have gotten up to that point for the drainage, right? But as regards the road, we cannot say exactly what happened. We just discovered that the contractors left site. The community has spent millions of naira on palliative work. The community has spent millions of naira on palliative work on the road, but their self-help project seems inadequate to stopping erosion from eating deep into the roads and gutters. From time to time, we do the grading of the road so that uh, our residents can at least enjoy the road, but it gets to a stage that uh, our capacity cannot carry. Like, there is a particular road, which is uh, a nickel road to a street. We have started the concrete of the road, and we have done it to... Uh, we, we did the concrete of the road about half a kilometer. Through self-help, we, we did it ourselves because the erosion uh, was eating deep into the road. We just want to appeal to them to fast track the delivery of the contract because uh, our residents uh, are not uh, enjoying the road as it is now. Two years ago, they commissioned uh, a contractor to fix the road, but they have done their bit, but it's not yet enough. We are still expecting more. We are still expecting the federal government to, you know, mobilize the contractors to conclude the road project. Right now, we don't know what the problem is, but we've not seen the contractor for some time, for about close to eight months now. We've not seen him, and they've moved the attention from the site. So we are appealing to the federal government alike and the Federal Minister of Works and Housing to probably mobilize the contractor back to site. Residents here are highly expectant of urgent government intervention on this road project which will ensure easy access to their homes and link them with other communities. Sarah Ayuku, TVC News, Lagos.